Hi, I'm Dave Pilkey, the author and illustrator of Dogman and Captain Underpants. I have fond memories of going to the library with my mom, who had a radical idea. She let me pick whatever book I wanted to read. Reading without judgment was a turning point in my life, and this is what made me a lifelong reader. If reading is a superpower, teachers are making readers or reading super buddies every day. That's why we're celebrating Reading Gives You Superpowers Week. Five days to emphasize why reading is not only crucial, but just as importantly, reading is fun. You see, reading truly is a superpower. It builds creativity, critical thinking, problem solving, imagination, empathy, self-esteem, and confidence to help kids work together, be creative, and find their own superpower just by turning the page. Hi, my name is Pernille Ripp and I'm a seventh grade English teacher in Oregon, Wisconsin. When my daughter was seven years old, she came home one day and told me that she was never going to be a reader because reading was just too hard. I didn't know what to do with that statement. After all, we had always raised her in a household full of books, but her teacher did. One day, a couple weeks later, my daughter burst through her door, coming off the bus, clutching a book, and she said, Mom, Mom, I'm a reader because I can read this book. And she said, I can't read all the words, but I can read the pictures and I need to go read it to my siblings. And so she did. She ran downstairs, grabbed her younger siblings, and she pulled out the book and she started to read it. And I ran after her and I said, what is this book that made you believe you are a reader? And Taya held it up and she said, Dog Man Mom by Dave Pilkey. I am so excited to be a part of the third annual Reading Gives You Superpowers Week, a fantastic idea that we put out globally in the world to celebrate reading, to celebrate all of the creativity that Dave Pilkey and so many others have given us to celebrate graphic novels, because we all know that those are actually books, right? And thinking about the theme that we are gathering around this year because the Cat Kid Comic Club is in session. I don't know about in your house, but in my house, December last year meant that the new Dave Pilkey book was coming out. And I knew from experience that I didn't need just one copy. I needed several copies because all of my kids wanted to be the first ones to read this new offspin from the great mind of Dave Pilkey. And so in it, the tadpoles from Dogman Fetch 22 have become baby frogs. And they are, of course, making comics together. So just like the frogs in that incredible book, we are going to make comics together today. Joined by teachers and classrooms around the world, you're going to be learning about four concepts in making comics. Inspiration, creativity, practice and persistence, fun and laughs, of course. And who better to start us off than the master himself who has given us so much who I know when I asked my own kids last night, what does this person mean to you? And they said, mom, it means fun. It means creativity. It means I want to write and it means I want to read. The man, Dave Pilkey himself. Hey everybody, I'm Dave Pilkey and today we're going to talk about inspiration. People always ask me where I get my ideas from and the truth is ideas are all around us. We just have to find them. Just the other day I was reaching for the salt and I realized that our salt has a very interesting lid. And I thought, if I take two of these lids and I tape them together and I, I make a little hole on the top and I tape on some, some toy wheels, I could make a car. And so I did. I painted it and then I added a mouth because of course every car needs a mouth. And I added a couple of eyeballs and, and before I knew it, I came up with a car that the, that the frogs from Baby Frog Squad could drive around in. Right now I'm working on the sequel to Cat Kid Comic Club, and these little cars are going to appear in the book. And they all started with something that was right in front of me. 
There's a great exercise in the very first Cat Kid Comic Club book that helps the baby frogs to discover their inspiration. And we're going to do some of that today, but actually we're going to do a little bit more than what appears in the book. We have some bonus stuff for you today. So I'd like everybody to take out a sheet of paper and place it in front of you. And then what we're going to do is draw a smiley face on the top of the paper right in the middle. And then underneath at the very bottom of the smiley face, draw a straight line down to the bottom. Okay, now on the left side of this list, I want everyone to write five things that you love. Five things that you really, really love. So these should be nouns. So we're looking for people, places, things, and ideas. They can be anything that you love. Okay. Now, on the right side, I want you to write down five things that you like to do. Five things you like to do, and these should be verbs. And, and by verbs, to, verbs can be many things, but today we're just talking about action words. So, in my list I have reading and drawing, eating pizza, watching movies, and daydreaming. Now, I've just created a list of ten different things that I love. 10 different things that I have a very strong emotional attachment to. And this is actually very, very important because anytime I'm looking for ideas, all I have to do is check out this list. You'll notice that I wrote cats and family on this list. And I'm going to draw two cats who were both influenced by my family. Uh, Petey was kind of inspired by me because sometimes when I was a kid I used to misbehave in school and <laughs> I used to get in trouble all the time and I used to think that I was that I was a bad guy. Just like Petey, I, I felt like I was bad and I could never change. Fortunately, my mom was there and she loved me no matter how much trouble I got myself into. And so my mom inspired the character of Little Petey because she had that unconditional love and my mom is incredibly optimistic and I think Little Petey has that characteristic as well. I've been able to write many many books about these two characters because I have a very strong emotional attachment to both of them and you can do this too. You can create characters that have personalities that are inspired by your list. You could write about a dog who likes to draw or a frog who likes to eat pizza or a pizza who <laughs> likes to draw frogs. The characters are only the beginnings of stories, and all by themselves, they aren't really that interesting, unless they meet up with an obstacle. And that brings us to our second exercise. So I'd like everyone to flip your paper over, and now we're gonna do the opposite of what we just did earlier. So let's draw a sad face up on top here and then a line down the middle. And on the left side, we're gonna make a list of five things that we do not like. Five things that frustrate you or irritate you. Five things that you really, really don't like. Okay, now on the other side, we're gonna write five verbs. Five things that we don't like to do. And this is an important list too because it's gonna be very, very helpful whenever you need inspirations for the challenges that your characters must face. These 10 things can give your characters something that will challenge them and something that they must overcome or be defeated by. So let's take a look one more time at the drawing that we made earlier. The piece of pizza who likes to draw frogs. Now there's nothing wrong with this character, but it's not really a story. However, if we add a challenge, then it starts to become something. So I thought maybe we would add like a very noisy um, <laughs> mosquito who has just come into the room and now the pizza has to stop drawing and figure out what she's going to do. Is she going to fight? Is she going to run away? This is really scary. Even her drawing got scared and ran away. So now the piece of pizza has to figure out what she's going to do. How is she going to face this obstacle? And that, my friends, is where this story gets interesting. And remember, if you get stuck, you can always go back to your list of the things that you like and the things that you don't like. Because there's heroes that you can add, and, and there's more challenges that you can add. And you don't have to just write five. If you can come up with other ideas, other things that you're passionate about, or that you have uh, emotional attachments to, please 
fill up these lists because the more you have, the more inspiration you'll be able to choose from. Wasn't that so much fun? Now we're going to move into creativity. Joined by a third grade classroom in Tokyo, Japan, they're going to teach us a little bit more about what creativity means for them. Good morning, everyone. My name is Scott Hernelstein, and I am one of the grade three teachers here at Chiyoda International School, Tokyo. As you know, traditional comics are made with pen and pencil on paper to create the different frames. In many of Dave Pilkey's comics, he uses other forms of media to create his characters. For example, in Dogman Brawl of the Wild, he creates a character, Claymation Philly, out of clay. Another character he's made is Munchie the Lunch Bag. In the Cat Kid Comic Club, two of the characters use their creativity to show a different kind of comic. Summer really likes photography. Starla really likes poetry. They work together to create a haiku comic using photography. If you're not really sure what haiku is, it's a short form of poetry originally from Japan. It's made of 17 syllables and three lines. The very first line is five syllables, the second line, seven syllables, and the final line back to five syllables. In my class, I wanted to give them a chance to create their own haiku and stretch their creativity to see what kind of comic and what ideas they could make. So, let's see some of the things that they came up with. Good luck with the rest of the event and make sure to stretch your creativity in everything you do. Can't wait to see what you've made. Thank you, Mr. Hernelstein and your incredible class of third graders. I bet your teachers have said before that no one starts as an expert and it is so true. Every new activity, whether it's writing, drawing, sports, or even reading, takes a lot of practice. So to help us practice today, we're going to head to a fourth grade classroom in Alberta, Canada. Hi, everybody. My name's Kathy King, and I'm here at Spitzy Elementary School in High River, Alberta, Canada. We're going to be covering practice and persistence. In the beginning of the Dogman series, we see George and Harold's original Dogman books. They had words spelled wrong, their drawings were line drawings, and we all know that as they progressed, they had a lot of practice. They stuck with it and they were persistent. And they were able to come up with comics that were more interesting, there were more details, there were fewer spelling mistakes, and they were able to add more comic characters. So why don't we practice drawing one of the new characters from the Cat Kid Comic Club? It's Monster Cheese Sandwich. You're going to be practicing drawing him with different expressions. So we can draw him doing an angry look where his eyebrows are turning in, or maybe he's scared. Now, make your own panel even better by creating your very own character. Think about your character's strengths and weaknesses. What are some things that would be like their superpowers? Or things that might be a weakness that Dog Man or Cat Kid could come in and rescue somebody with. And just like Monster Cheese Sandwich, spend a moment to show your characters different emotions. Maybe they're spying on somebody. Maybe they're afraid that somebody's going to catch them. Now let's use both of these characters 
and create a new panel. I'm going to be working with students in my class on their own panels and seeing what everybody can come up with. Thank you so much, Mrs. King, and your awesome hit class. Did you know that if you want to practice drawing favorite Dave Pilkey characters, I know my own kids love doing this at home, there are so many more videos and even resources available at the Dave Pilkey at Home section of Scholastic.com. There are also tons of other fun things there like Zoom backgrounds, who doesn't want a better Zoom background than the one they have, and even excerpts from the books so you can see what the other books are about. And speaking of fun, what would a Dave Pilkey comic be without some fun and laughs? We have a first grade class in California in the U.S. helping us out. Let's hear from them now. Hi, I'm Chrisia Cabral from San Diego, California. I teach first grade at Highland Ranch Elementary School. And something I wanted to talk to you about today is, yes, there's a lot of creativity when you're reading and you're writing, but let's not forget, reading is fun. Reading is a way to open a book and open your imagination with your class. As we as teachers read with our kids or invite kids to read and learn something new about someone that they didn't know or a character that they might want to become. Reading is lots of fun. And when we're talking about Dog Man and Captain Underpants and the Cat Kid Comic Club, all of Dave Pilkey's books, what do they have in common? They make us want to laugh. So I wanted to invite you into my classroom and help us create some laughs with our own comics. One of the really cool things, one of the really great things about Dave Pilkey is his stories are written to be funny. He's, he's writing to make you laugh. And one of the things that he did was create these comic books to get your attention, but also he wants you to laugh at the end of the story. So we are going to take a little bit of one of Dave Pilkey's stories and we're going to try our very best to create our own funny story. Are you guys ready? So our funny story, it goes a little bit like this. We're going to come up with certain parts of the story and then we're going to insert our own characters, our own words and see if we can make it just as funny as he is. The first thing I need is someone to raise their hand and give me an age that is younger than you are right now. Natalie. Four. Four is our first fill in. Tell me a funny word. What's a funny word you know? You can think of a funny word. Grant has a funny word. Underwear. Underwear, got it. Next thing is a plural article of clothing. More than one article of clothing. Pants. Pants. The theme going on here. All right, this next one's easy. Tell me the name of one of your friends. Isabel Ann. Isabel Ann. What a great name. Tell me a sport. Baseball. Yes, baseball. <laughs> Broderick, can you tell me a place? A hotel. A hotel? All right, Miss Kina. A type of transportation. A plane. Ooh, a plane. Good choice. All right, we've got a couple more. We need another number. Three. The number three. And last but not least, Miss Natalie, can you give us a different place? Hawaii. Ooh, gorgeous. Good choice. Nice job, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna plug in all of our answers and then I'm going to read our Dave Filthy story to you. Are you ready? It starts. I guess it all started when I was four. I used to be in the underwear scouts. I was known far and wide for my good deeds and my pants, but it all ended one day when Isabel Ann and I went to play miniature baseball. Everything started out great. 
But then a terrible storm arose. The whole hotel began to flood. We hid on a tiny plane, but the water rose higher and higher, and soon we were washed away. The storm raged for three weeks. Finally, we landed on Hawaii. <laughs> the end. <laughs> What do you think? Was it funny? <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. My class, we worked so hard together to create some exciting comics to share with you. Thank you, Ms. Cabral, and your incredible class. With that, I am so excited to share with you our completed comic. But guess what? The comic making does not end here. All of you can also make your own comic too, and who doesn't want to make more comics and be exactly like Dave Pilkey, or even better, be exactly like yourself. All of the materials used in today's broadcast and a lot more are available at scholastic.com slash readpilkey. You definitely want to check it out. What a great time. I hope you have had. I know I have. Thank you so much for being here with us and getting a chance to join the Cat Kid Comic Club. I know I've wanted to join this club for a long time. And of course, this isn't the end for Dave Pilkey either. He is going to keep making comics too. Do you know that his new book, Dogman Mothering Heights, comes out March 23rd? I can't wait to get my hands on my copy. So before we go, let's hear one last time from Dave Pilkey. Thank you all for joining us today for this very special meeting of the Cat Kid Comic Club. I wanted to thank Mr. Hernelstein, Mrs. King, Ms. Cabral, and our host, Pernille Rip, uh, for joining us today. And I especially want to thank all the teachers for everything that you do every day to make reading fun for kids. Um, before we go, I wanted to show you one last thing from the, from the next Cat Kid Comic Club. This is a, uh, a van that I made out of a cardboard box and some tape and um, and some uh, pieces of, of some broken toys. But I just wanted to show you that uh, inspiration is all around us. Uh, we just have to look for it. And so uh, this will be appearing in the next book. And uh, good luck to you with your stories. And I hope you have fun finding your own inspiration. Take, take care. Bye-bye.